Olympics have been good to us. I think we deserve a break, but we had a little update today. We have Tropical Storm Gabrielle, not a threat to us here at home. Can't say that enough, right? So Gabrielle, we are not worried about. It is making that north-northwest jog something that we like to see because that keeps it out of our hair. So it is moving uh, 22 miles per hour. Winds have increased to 45 miles per hour. If anybody joined us this morning, Courtney was telling you how uh, it was a tropical depression seven. It has been upgraded once it did strengthen just enough. Those wind speeds increasing. However, you'll notice on the northwestern side here that you don't see as much convection. Um, and that's because we do have just a little bit of drier air that's being fed into this. If you anybody joined me this weekend, I was saying how this system was trying to outrun the Saharan dust and it has done that job. The Saharan dust has been fading away as well, but it also has some winds that are trying to uh, break this apart, but it's done just enough to strengthen to that tropical storm status. The lower level clouds, you can definitely see the better circulation. You don't want to just draw your eye to those high cloud tops because that's just showing you the convection that's blowing off from the storm. So Gabrielle, let's look at the latest path here. So this is the cone. It will change. It will tighten up as days go on. But right now, Bermuda is right here. So that's something that we have interest in because right now Bermuda is inside the cone. However, most models show this system moving to the east of Bermuda. It will eventually strengthen to a category one hurricane. At least we haven't had a hurricane since Aaron. We haven't had a named tropical storm since Fernand, which was August 23rd. That's quite some time. That's almost a month, right? Um, so this is the latest track. Again, we're going to keep it watching this, but right now we're seeing that recurve as many of these systems have taken this season. So that's something we like. As we look at the spaghetti models, there is still some uncertainty, which is normal. Uh, we do have a few outliers, but generally most of them have that curve taking place. Now, how far from Bermuda is it going to steer away? So we're going to break this down into a little bit more detail. I hope you join us once again at 430 today. Myself and Chief Meter Meteorologist Bobby Deskins will be doing a breakdown of Gabrielle and what else is going on in the tropics. <clears throat> we have this area right here that's trying to form into a uh, tropical wave. It's very small right now. It's right underneath that X. Could develop anywhere here out to the west. Now, this could take more of a westerly direction. We have some winds that will be lightening up these uh, systems like lighter winds because they don't want to be disturbed. They want to keep their structure. So that's something we're going to watch with that system, although it has a low probability of tropical development at this time. 